Many years back, one judge of the Indian Supreme Court, for whom I have immense respect and who also became the Chief Justice of India, narrated an incident to me in one of our personal uh, and exclusive conversations. I used to meet him regularly over the weekends in my early days in the profession to get the lessons uh, on, on practical learning and, and knowledge. He shared an episode where he was sitting on a bench of the Supreme Court with two other judges and he was the junior most amongst them. So he was, he was not the presiding judge that day. In the course of the hearing, he made certain oral remarks which were his original observations. The presiding judge at that time made a supplementary remark on those observations whereby he believed and revealed that the observations made by that uh, brother, junior judge, colleague were actually sourced, were actually sourced from a judgment of Lord Dennings or in other words, those observations were not an original thought of that judge. It would have been embarrassing, I guess, I assume. The judge who I was in conversation with gave me a very beautiful lesson. He said that it is more than likely that two different people or more for that matter can think alike at different points in time in history and life without having known each other or read each other's work or gone through each other's work. That judge had not even read Lord Denning's that judgment from which he was said to have quoted or borrowed. That's the irony. The moral of the lesson I got that day, which I'm sharing with you all, is that you all are great thinkers. Pen down your thoughts. People may undermine you and even accuse you of plagiarism, copying and, and so on. This is, this is the gift of the West where sadly they have commercialized intellectual wealth. But if these are your original thoughts and work, own them and stand by them, defend them. Yes, own them, defend them. Thank you.